this is Tara on behalf of Maui Now. As we all know, so many of our favorite restaurants have been forced to shut down and it's been incredible to witness this. And today we are here with Bev Gannon, chef and owner of Gannon's Restaurants. Um, she has Gannon's in Wailea. She has Highly Miley General Stores. She has Celebrations Catering and been a very well-known figure here on the island and we're very excited they're all closed, today. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're all closed, all closed. <laughs> right i know it's pretty <laughs> devastating well i'm thankful that you're on the call with us today bev and uh you know i know a lot of people know you and are familiar with your restaurants but can you tell us a little bit how this whole covid 19 has affected you and your businesses well, it's basically shut down all my businesses. You know, we've been in business 36 years here. You know, <laughs> we've weathered 9-11. We've le weathered the last depression. Um, I I've never experienced anything like this, where we were literally told we had to close our doors and lay off all our employees. And uh, I think in the initial stage of it, I was really in kind of shock. Um, but now, you know, now I'm just trying to figure out how I can reopen. Um, at one point it really was, do I reopen? Because this is actually 36 years later going to be like me starting all over. Like I'm opening a new restaurant with not a lot of money in the bank, if any, um, and, uh, willing to say, okay, I, you know, I'm going to be 71 next month. I was thinking of how to slow down. And now it's changed everything. Now um, I have to jump back in like I'm a brand new restaurateur, basically. Um, but the decision was made because I have 130 people who work for me who are out of work. The reality is 50 to 75% of the restaurants in this country are going to close their doors for good. They're done. They don't have the ability to reopen. I think people would be shocked to hear that most, most small restaurants, you know, they probably eke out six to 7% net profit. If you're really lucky, you can do 10. If you're, if you're big change, you make a lot more money, but most of the little restaurants and I consider us small restaurants, you know, we don't make a lot of money in the end of the year. We, we pay a ton of money for rent and insurance um, and our product and our, waiters and, and our, our, our staff who we have to pay um, a lot of things in Hawaii for sure. Um, so, you know, we're just, we're just going over everything. We're going for funding, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare to get. It's probably been more devastating to the restaurant business, this virus, than any other business around because of how we do business. No, I, I just embrace my heart, all the emails that I've received from all of our, I mean, we've worked with you guys for, you know, years. years. So many and I years. had to email you and say, Hey, I really stopped my advertising because right. I can't pay for it. And I don't want to do something I can't pay for. I mean, right. even through nine 11, you know, I paid my bills because people were still coming in the restaurant, you know, that first four or five days, not really. Even the, the depression 10 years ago, you know, we had to come back from that, but we could keep our doors open and keep money coming in. Right. This is like, there's nothing. I decided not to do takeout because I couldn't lose any more money. Um, but as we find out that we're going to get our funding, which hopefully we do, once we do that, we are going to do pre-prepared meals that we will deliver that you can call in an order and get five days worth of meals that you can heat yourself or mm. put in your freezer um, mainly so that we can you know help generate some income from our inventory um, they're going to be very reasonable um, mm. so watch the websites for yeah. emailing celebrations and give us some business since I have this as a platform right now to say that. <laughs> well, I know that uh, being a busy mom and working mom, uh, cooking is not something I love to do. So I really miss our Maui restaurants and being able to get something that can be taken home and I can just shove in and have dinner done. <laughs> and that would be fabulous. 
close to as good as in the restaurant because I'm really good at doing that. That's why I did Hawaiian Airlines for 20 years and did their food. And it was so good because I know how to do that. So there's a little bright spot. You try and find little bright spots in your day of, okay, and then when we reopen, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And, you know, uh, you know, as soon as I can bring my workers back to work where we're closed, um, we're going to be sprucing up those restaurants so we can reopen. <laughs> but it also means that people have to, the people in our world, the landlords, Maui Electric, how about, how about forgive me while this is closed and I have everything unplugged? How about forgive me a month of electricity? How about the gas company? Forgive us a month of gas. How about the, the landlords? Forgive us a month or two of rent so that we can get back up on our feet. Because if that doesn't happen, if something like that doesn't happen, you're gonna see some of your favorite restaurants here not reopen. And it's gonna be really criminal. Because little Charlotte's been my day dishwasher for 26 years. I wanna make sure she has another five or 10. We're about the same age. I think she's in her late 60s. She's shown up for 26 years, five days a week to wash dishes at Holy Miley General Store. I want to keep her working. I'm actually going to get together. And if any of my fellow restaurateurs are watching this, please email me at bev at bevgannonrestaurants.com. I'd like to get a group of us together to be able to talk about what's going on hmm. on, on Zoom or whatever, um, to see if we can't get together a little bit on our mission statement to get through this. Mm -hmm. um, I know some of us have been talking, but if we could get a really nice group of people um, who are sitting home twiddling their thumbs like I am, or making up new menus, or going, <laughs> okay, what can I do now? Can I turn this into, can I turn the Mountain General Store into what it started out to be, which was a gourmet takeout food shop, you know? <laughs> but if I do that, then all my waiters don't have jobs. So right. uh, we will, we will be back. And if you guys <laughs> support us, if the community supports us, we will get through this um, and we will be in business and I don't get to retire like I really thought I was um, <laughs> and move it on to the next generation. Um, but there's a part of me who now deep down is going to go, damn it, we are going to do this. Mm. And we are going to get through this just like we've gotten through all the other things. A bit harder, a lot harder. But um, hopefully we'll see you back real soon. <laughs> uh, you know, our, 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 I guess we're thinking, at first, we're thinking June 1st, that we might be able to open by, uh, and I'm thinking maybe July 1st, because it'll take all the restaurants a few weeks to get back in and clean up and get your crew together and get everybody kind of online ready to go. So right. somewhere, hopefully the first part of the summer, we'll be ready to see okay. you guys all back at our restaurants. Well, we will be ready to come back and be waited <laughs> on and enjoy a fabulous meal made by someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> my husband's been real happy i've been cooking breakfast lunch and dinner for him i don't do that ever not for years not for probably 30 years since i started the restaurants wow so lucky he's very guy. happy about this weird way yeah he's a very lucky guy well thank you bev so much for coming on and i'm sure so many other people in the restaurant business uh admire you and what you've done and to hear your struggles and be willing to share them is very appreciated so we thank you for that and we like your fighting spirit and look forward to you coming back <laughs> thanks. thanks so much for talking to all of us thank you bev